Hi, I'm Jake, and this video is going to cover the ventilation part of a ventilation and perfusion scan, also known as a VQ, using xenon gas. A ventilation and perfusion scan is used in nuclear medicine. It's a two-part test to, to diagnose whether or not a patient has a blood clot in their lungs. Basically, how we do this is we take a series of images of the airflow to the patient's lungs, followed immediately by another set of images of the blood flow to their lungs. Mismatched defects between the two sets of images allows the doctor to, to determine whether or not there's a blockage in the lungs and the anatomical position of that blockage. This video concentrates only on the ventilation part of the test. And it's designed to show the audience um, how to perform a ventilation scan and give them a basic and very general understanding of the tools and equipment used and also um, how it's performed and how the images are processed. The, meth the method behind the air imaging the airflow to a patient's lungs is basically this. We have them breathe through a mask and then inject a slightly radioactive gas into the mask and which goes into their lungs. Once the gas is injected, we take a series of images similar to a video and watch the, that gas enter and leave the lungs. The mask is attached to a machine called the Pulmonex. The Pulmonex allows a closed system to trap the xenon gas and prevent it from contaminating the room. This is what the xenon looks like when you get it from the pharmacy looks like an empty bottle or a vial but there's gas in there it has a rubber septum on the top and that allows these needles in the xenon gun to pierce it and for the gas to escape the vial the, man the mechanics behind the xenon gun are simple it's a leaded shielded container with a plunger on it what you do is you slide the vial into the container then you put it in here where it's gonna the top of the vial is gonna get punctured by those needles when you're ready push the plunger in that pushes the vial into the needles and then you can pump it since the gas is radioactive and it, it's emitting gamma rays we're able to detect it and image it with our gamma camera now this is this is the Pulmonex. On one end you have the mask, which needs to be changed out between every patient, followed by a bacteria filter, which also needs to be changed out with every patient, connected to this tubing, along with the bacteria filter, there's soda lime and dry right in here. These need to be changed out periodically. And that's, that's to prevent also germs and bacteria and also moisture from entering the Pulmonex system. Dry right needs to be changed out when it changes colors and soda lime every time. After the air passes through those <clears throat> germ barriers, it's, the xenon is then trapped in these charcoal chambers where it will stay and decay. Inside here you have a bladder made for oxygen. You fill it up with the oxygen on the wall and that is the air that the patient breathes during the test. On here you have a, on the top here you have a valve. During the test you turn the valve and that allows them to keep breathing the same air while oxygen is introduced but they're rebreathing the xenon once you switch it to the washout phase the, that's when the patient starts breathing all the xenon back out or out completely and into the charcoal chambers now I'm going to get a patient and show you how to perform the ventilation part of a ventilation and perfusion scan Okay, this is Kelly. She's going to act as my patient. 
I'm going to lay her down on the table and demonstrate how to get her in position and begin this test. Alright, go ahead and lay down with, on your back with your head on this pillow. I'm going to raise you up, okay? So basically, I'm going to move her in underneath the detectors until her lungs are in the field of view. The way that I can tell if she's in the field of view or her lungs are in the field of view is by taking the xenon gun and detecting the gamma rays coming off of it on the tops of her shoulders. This test is only going to be a one view test. It's going to be from the posterior side so I move that detector up to get a better quality diagnostic image. At this time I'm going to give her some very um, good breathing instructions. That way I can time her me pumping that xenon gun while she's inhaling. We don't want her to exhale while I'm pump, trying to pump the xenon into the circuit because then she's just going to blow it out. We're not going to get a good diagnostic image. I can tell that she's in the in the field of view, but I'm just going to double check. If this was a real test, there'd be um, radioactive xenon in here, and I'd be able to see it. So I would put the gun at the tops of her shoulders and make sure that's at the top of the field of view. That way I know that I'm going to get her lungs in, it, in the image. Alright, ma'am, so I'm going to have you just breathe on my commands, okay? I'm going to tell you to breathe in and breathe out. I want you to hold that mask nice and tight. So at this point, I would flip the valve on the Pulmonex to number two. Then I would say, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Then I would puncture the tube with the needle and say, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. And then breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. At this point, I would push the plunger in so that the vial pierces the septum on the, <clears throat> or the vial hits the needles and the septum's pierced and the xenon can be released. And then during her inhalation, I would pump, pump the, the pump. Now she's breathing through the mask, and we want to do this for at least two minutes. And then at that point, then we're going to start the washout phase, which is easily done by switching this valve to washout. And for the next three minutes, she's going to be breathing all that xenon out into the charcoal traps. Alright, you're all done. Alright, so now that the test is over, we have the raw data, we need to process that in order for the radiologist to read it. As technologists, that's our job to make pretty pictures for them to read. This is what the raw data looks like. And what we do is basically uh, darken it or whatever we have to do to make it look better and then label it. Over here, I'll show you what the process data looks like. So you have the, the first breath here and then the equilibrium here and that's where I said the patient is rebreathing this the same air with the xenon in it and then the washout phase you can see once I flip that valve all the xenon then is washed out and trapped in those charcoal trap chambers thank you